Over the past two years, the medical community has learned a lot about COVID-19, but one side effect with lingering questions is called long COVID. While many people who contract the virus do make full recoveries, others will experience symptoms long after they receive that negative test again. Today, Kelloland's Lauren Solik talked with a woman in Yankton who was one of the first people to get COVID-19 in the state, and she's still battling side effects more than two years later. Michelle Carlson used to love hiking, being out in nature, and walking her dogs. Then she contracted COVID-19 and her life changed forever. I exercised an hour a day when I got sick. I didn't have pre-existing conditions. I was in, I was, had a little weight to lose yet, but I was in the best shape of my life when I caught this. Carlson is one of an estimated 23 million people in the U.S. dealing with long COVID symptoms. She only had a mild case of the virus in March of 2020, but now her nervous system doesn't function properly. Forgetting to breathe, you know, the autonomic nervous system, the things that you don't think about, like my body temperature regulating and, and I'll often I get dizzy and that's what will, you know, bring me back to, oh, remember to breathe. You know, things you're not supposed to have to think about. Extreme sensitivity to light and noise even caused Carlson to leave her job so she could find one that allows her to work from home. It's, it's a fight or flight response. So it's every noise, every light, everything is a distraction and I'm just always on alert. Long COVID has been a burden on Carlson's finances as well, spending $800 each month just for medication to help her function. You know, when you think of going on disability at work and you, you're dropping to 60% of your income, then, you know, I, I, I couldn't mow the lawn, I couldn't shovel, I can't do basic painting, I can't do basic anything, any house cleaning. I, just think of trying to make it on 60% plus all of the things that you cannot do, plus all of the medical expenses. As the South Dakota representative for the COVID-19 Long Holler Advocacy Project, Carlson just wants to raise awareness. Just remember that we might not look sick enough, but that, that isn't telling the whole story. With HealthBeat, I'm Lauren Solick. Earlier this month, President Biden issued a presidential memorandum to direct the Secretary of Health and Human Services to work with the federal government and create an action plan for long COVID. You can read that statement by following the link under this story on Kevillan.com.